ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಚರಣ ಕಮಲೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಸುಖದೇವ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಓ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪರೀಕ್ಷಿತ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ one develops a relationship with someone in this life without past connections some way or other no one develops any connection or physical relationship with anyone in present life this happened with pal ajabil too sukhdev goswami says Ajamil, the reason, look, he says, Ajamil saw many ladies every day, but he never became attached to them. Many beautiful ladies he would see in his day-to-day -day activities, but he never became attached to them, attracted to them. His own wife, beautiful young Brahmin-born wife at home was there. he be keep did not become attached to her but he became attached to a low born prostitute so much so that he gave up his beautiful wife and looted his parents gave all their wealth how it happened that he became so attracted to that low born prostitute being a brahmin and due to that attachment only he became deprived of deprived of all his purities all his spiritual ruination happened due to being so attached to that low born lady when a person thinks he is great and nobody is equal to him or her doesn't matter who male female same I'm the greatest and sees everyone as nothing, insignificant, discards them, develop abhorrence towards them. That becomes the cause of one's ruination. as per scriptures or everybody knows those who know krishna they know that god is the greatest and god's name is krishna so lord krishna is called asamurdhva nobody is equal or better than him he is the greatest how can anybody take away his position not possible when one thinks he is the greatest then his fall or her fall is certain when a person becomes filled with ego and becomes influenced or controlled by ego then he has to come down fall down this happened with ajami Ajamil was a great yogi in Himalaya in his past life Sukhdev Goswami says He was a very great yogi young man went in Himalaya him alaya him means ice snow alaya means storehouse Himalaya it means always it is filled covered with snow so this young 
men went there to become yogi in Himalayas. And there is no food. Very rarely you see a village somewhere. So he would perform his austerities and just to maintain his body because as long as one, one has body, it requires some eatables and drink, water. So he would pick whatever fruit is available on the tree, either is unripened or ripened. If there is no fruit, he would eat leaves. Sometimes he would not wake up from his austerity, meditation, even for two days to five days. Sometimes he would remain in the meditation. Thus, he would spend his time in that way. He would dunk himself in cold, cold, ice, cold, liquid ice, liquid ice water. Dunk himself to the neck and perform austerities, liquid ice, like that. So, <clears throat> due to his austerities, his vigor came on his face. You can see the vigor. Austere persons have bigger. Due to his great austerities, people started respecting him, honoring him. And had faith in him, respect him. His well-known became for a spiritualist, glorification is not beneficial. Pratistha sukari bhista. Glories, glorification or big fame name is considered to be rejected. Sukari bhista. Sukari means female pig. Bhista means excrement. Excrement stool of female pig. Name, fame is considered. So, devotees don't hanker for this. But yogi, he saw, wow, I am respected. Everybody respects me, honors me, and I am known everybody. Everybody comes and pays me obeisances. Till everybody pays obeisances, respects, and name is gone, that is fine. But to feel that you are great, that's where the problem involves. When one starts thinking like that, then ego develops. And ego is the beginning of fall down, downfall. <clears throat> Ati garve hatalanka, ati mane chakorava, ati dane balir baddha, ati matyam garhitam. One should not become excessively proud. Anything you are excessive, if you are excessively humble, then you are a dhurt in Sanskrit. Dhurt means fake. So excessive humble is no good. Drinking excessive nectar, nectar is also no good. Something, anything excessive is no good. So excessively pride destroyed even Ravana. He had ten heads and he controlled the death. He controlled time. He controlled everything. All nine planets, Indra, Chandra, everybody was controlled. Heaven, hell, everything was controlled. Fourteen planetary systems were under his control. He lost because of excessive pride. Because of excessive pride, hundred brothers, Duryodhana, very powerful. Even Pim could not defeat him. He was so powerful. If you read Mahabharata, you will find out they were all ruined, finished. Atidane Bale, there is saintly demand. Bali Maharaj, he was ruined because 
he thought, I am the greatest charioteer on this planet. So, become ego. So, this yogi became proud. Oh, everybody respects me. I am great. I must be great. Have to be great. One who is great and is respected and famed and honored, he don't become egotistic because he's real. But one who is not real, then you develop thinking of great I am great. I am a Swami, I am a Sannyasi, I am a Vaishnava, I am a Brahmin, I am an American, I am an Indian, I am a white, I am brown or a black. I am male, I am female, I am educated, I am wealthy. Ego is not tolerated by God. What to speak of God? Mother Nature don't tolerate an egotistic person. Demigods don't tolerate. They put him down in due course of time. It may take a little time. So due to his great austerities, he became famous and proud. But this austerity also hit his physical body because his earth, water, fire, air, ether, flesh and bones, this body it hit him. Means his body is aging. <laughs> when body ages, tolerance becomes difficult. Cannot tolerate. Relaxation, he wants relaxation. Body wants relax. But this proud yogi did not want to relax. He was obstinate. Even though his body became a little bit aged, he don't want to give up his rigorous austerity. So one day it was very, very cold. It became too cold. Even then he wants to go in the water and perform his austerity. And bodies became, he wants relaxation. Aged a little bit. As per the situation of the body, physical situation, one should perform austerity too. Already well known why you have to do this. So he did, he went inside the cold, 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 ice, cold, liquid ice, performed for austerities and came out and drank a little bit of water because he was felt thirsty and fell unconscious because he got cold. Cold hit him inside and from outside. And he fell unconscious near that place where water source resource. At that time, a saintly householder, very saintly, pious, it's called Muni, he came with his 16-year-old young virgin girl to fetch water for, because his householder he needs water in the house. So he saw that same yogi whom he knew fell unconscious, he felt pity. Wow, what can he do? No arrangement for fire, no facilities to, because he thought he got cold. So he felt unconscious, so there was no facility. What he should do? He got an anxiety, he wanted to help the yogi. Daughter was also saintly, she felt bad, somebody is dead or fell unconscious, still breathing, but cannot do anything. Saintly fellow people produce saintly children. If you plant the seed of mango, you cannot expect lemons or bitter goats. You will only get mangoes. But if you plant bitter goats or lemons, you cannot expect mangoes or apples coming from there. Not possible. So, saintly men, saintly person produce saintly offspring. So the daughter also felt pity on the yogi, but cannot do anything. At that minute, when they were in anxiety, at that minute, another uh, saintly person came there. He's called Muni. 
means pious people, very same people, but he had a medical knowledge, knowledge of medicine, herbal science expert. He had that and he saw that yogi fallen unconscious. He touched his pulse and said, oh, he's still alive, but he got caught cold. He needs to supply heat. Heat has to be supplied. So how to supply heat? There was no matchbox, no fire, nothing. So Himalayas, everywhere is snow, filled with snow. You know. So said, I, it, it has to be very quickly because now he will be dead. Very quick has to be. Either it should be taken to a room and given very warm clothes with the heat of the fire or a young lady must embrace him and cover it with a cloth so he will be resurrected. So this householder was very saintly. The young lady he has, but there is no nearby room, the yogi will die, he wants to help some dying person. Helping a person who requires instantly help must be helped. Helpless person should be helped. That is the law. So, he looked at his daughter. Daughter was also saintly. Virgin girl, 16 years old. Can you please, because she had some covering blanket on here, on her, everybody had blanket covering blankets on top of their clothes, worn clothes. So can you please go and embrace him and cover, with, cover him with his, your clothes? We will put our blankets upon you. They had no sin in their mind. They only want to help and resurrect, wake the yogi up in trouble, unconscious. So she followed her father's order and she slapped on him, exactly straight as he was fallen, and covered her, covered with her clothes. And then father put his blanket and the doctor, the another Muni, put his blanket over them. Everybody has some heat in their body. Young man has more heat than elder man, older man. Elderly person also has heat, but young man has more heat than elderly person. And the female has more heat than man in the body. And especially young girl has excessive heat in their body. That is scriptural evidence. Thinking that yogi will survive, they remained quiet. After some time, yogi got his heat back and became conscious and saw a young girl lying on him. He was shocked. <laughs> the young girl was a saintly person. Due to their saintly qualities, he wanted to help. There was no other reason. <laughs> but this yogi got shocked and, <laughs> and got up said, You rascal lady, how come you are lying on me? Without thinking the reason why she laid on him, because he did not know that he was unconscious. When person goes in unconscious, he don't know. He or she don't know that they are unconscious. So, without thinking the reason why she was lying on him, without asking the cause for her lying on him, 
There were two other men too. There were four people. One is a young girl and three are males. Yogi and the, the physician and the father of the girl. He did not ask anyone because of ego. Ego makes one become blind. One should not be egotistic. That's why spiritual master chastises the disciple in front of everybody to bring their ego down. Because as long as one has ego, he cannot do pure devotional service. One who has ego, they don't know they are egotistic. They think they are very humble. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. That is ego, but he don't know that he is egotistic. If he thought he knew, he knew, if he knew that he is ego, possibly he will not be egotistic because scriptures they read, they know, they are written. Ego, one should not be, one should be humble. Trunadapi Suni Chena, it says. One should be more humble than the straw on the street. So, due to ego, he took little water on his hand and cursed the young girl without thinking, without asking anyone why she did this. You lied on me as a prostitute. I curse you to take birth as prostitute in your next life. That young innocent girl was like a tons of stone fell on her. She was shocked. She only helped him. So she was pure enough. She was also austere. She took little water. I said, I did nothing against you. I just helped you and my mood was only to help you. You curse an innocent person in this way. I curse you that even though you will be born pure in your next life, you will only associate with me as a prostitute. Because he told her to take birth as a low-born prostitute, you will be high-born and pure, you will associate with low-born this prostitute and lose all your purity. <laughs> Just see. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. So he took action without thinking, he got reaction and double, losing his purity and being contaminated. You will always remember craving for me in your next life, she said. You will only be restless to be with me and supply me anything I would want. By hook or crook, you will be working to supply all my needs, she said. All this everybody was hearing. You will be bereft of all your purities due to me, she said. After this curse and counter curse, they all went in their own places. After some time, they passed their bodies, they passed away. And she took birth in a low, very low family, low class family, where meat eating, drinking, whiskey and all that was available. All, nothing God conscious. And he took birth as Azamil in a pure Brahmin house, learned perfect life, very good life. And he developed attraction for this low class woman and lost all his purities. That only happened due to past connections, past incident, past incidents come 
as a relationship in this life. Past connections become related. One develops a relationship in this life. Spiritual life is perfect life. Material life all depends on past connections. You had past connection with this man, you will have that long to live with this man. After that connection is finished from past life, then you will give up that man and go to this man. You will develop connection with this woman, you will have connection for that long with this woman and they will relinquish that connection after their time has passed from past life, then develop connection with this woman due to that past connection. Everything is demand, depends on that. One is born in a different place and a different place she is born. Different countries, different religions, different faith, different languages, they develop connections. It's due to only past connection. Past connection, present relationship ha happens. Nothing happens by chance. Nothing takes place without any reason. <clears throat> One may wonder, this innocent girl only wanted to benefit him, the fallen yogi unconscious. Why is he got cursed? Why is he got negative result, being positive attitude? She had a positive attitude. She wanted to make sure that his unconscious person survives, wanted to help him. How come she got hit with a ton of bricks of a curse? The reason, because nothing happens without a reason, that's why the reason is there. Because she is already grown up girl, although virgin, When she embraced the young yogi and was covered and due course of time she developed little amorous desire. Little, she row, rose up, rose up a little bit, little. The law is that when a woman embraces a man or man embraces a woman. Woman becomes roused up before man. I'm not a woman, so I don't know. I never asked any woman because this question is not to be asked, I think. I never asked, but it's not good to ask. But I read these in the scriptures, it's available. So she roused up a little bit. Due to that, she was cursed. If you plant a small seed, big tree will come. So she became this much roused up, little minutely, and she got big curse. That was the reason. Did little lusty desire brought her such a big curse. The, the yogi was very austere and he performed great amount of austerities on, Hima, in, on Himalaya. So his austerity never got lost even though he was born as Ajamil and involved with the low-born prostitute. His austerities never got lost. That his austerity came back to him in the form of his son, Narayana, whom he named Narayana. That austerity, he was not a son, his austerity looked like a son. And he, his name, helped him achieve liberation. So austerities, penance, any kind of spiritual life you do never gets lost. 
as we have discussed several times in our lectures, past lectures, Lord Krishna told to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita 6th chapter. Therefore, we should never give up spiritual life. Once we adopt, we should never give it up for any circumstance, for any reason. 